The ruthless murder of Christina Lee. The suspect accused of following a woman in Chinatown, then stabbing her to death, telling reporters today he didn't do it. Police say 25-year-old Asamad Nash followed Christina Lee up six flights of stairs to her apartment and forced his way in just before she closed the door. Hey guys, it's going to do I'm back with another video. Today's video centers around the harrowing murder of Christina Yuna Lee in New York City. This year, it happened in mid-February. I was actually in New York City a week after this murder took place. The case is is horrifying. It's a, it's a nightmare. It's kind of like a worst case scenario where, you know, you're coming home from a night out and you're followed and it goes horribly, horribly wrong. Before we jump in, if you could please hit that like button, subscribe and hit the notification bell. So close to 100k, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay, Christina Yuna Lee, 35 years old. She was a creative producer at the music platform Splice. Her colleagues described her as such a sweet girl, bubbly, curious, creative and confident. But all of that potential was snuffed out in an instant when she was followed home in the early hours, 4am to be precise. She spent the night at a friend's house having fun, enjoying herself with her friends when she decided to return home. This was Saturday the 13th of February. Unbeknownst to Christina, she was being followed. And the eerie CCTV footage, which I will show you in just a moment, shows how her murderer followed her into her apartment building. Chilling security footage allegedly shows the 25-year-old following Christina into her building on Christie Street, slipping through the door just before it closed. So as you can see, he just slinks in behind, completely undetected before the main door can shut and lock the building. This was Asamad Nash. Asamad Nash was a homeless man who that night decided he was going to kill Christina. Once he entered the building, he followed her up six flights of stairs in her apartment building. From here, Nash forced his way into Christina's apartment and there he stabbed her mercilessly 40 times in the torso and neck. But although she was stabbed 40 times, this didn't kill her straight away. A couple of minutes after the attack, her neighbours called the police because they heard Christina's screams for help. And it took just three minutes for the police to arrive on the scene, but they could not gain entry into the apartment. The whole time hearing Christina's cries and moans for help, but also hearing a second voice shouting that they don't need any help and that they should go away. This, of course, being the voice of the killer. One of the neighbours who did not want to be identified even said to the New York Post that they could tell that the intruder was trying to muffle Christina's screams. Nash's barricade of the apartment meant that the police could not enter until 20 to 6, bearing in mind that this attack took place around 20 past 4. So we're talking an hour and a half before the police could gain entry and by the time they did Christina sadly had succumbed to her injuries but initially the killer was nowhere to be found this was because he was hiding under the bed now the killer tried to escape out of the fire exit onto the roof but because he failed in doing this re-entered the building he was spotted doing this by a fellow police officer who was scouting out the rear of the building now what nash tried to do was he discarded the murder weapon which was a kitchen knife under a dresser near the bed and he hid under the bed and what he did was he tried to convince police that basically he was partying with Christina in her apartment. Someone came in and murdered her, attacked him and escaped out of the fire exit and he hid under the bed after trying to help save Christina. This of course was all nonsense and the stab wounds on his body were actually made by Christina when she tried her best to protect herself from him and his merciless 40 strike attack. Christina was found in the bathroom and it was an absolute state, a horrifying nightmare scene no one should see 
but certainly no one should ever go through. Blood splattered all over the bathroom. Now, of course, police didn't believe what Nash was saying, not for a second, certainly after their colleague had literally witnessed him trying to flee the building, so they arrested him. And obviously he pled his innocent over and over, but it was not believed, and he was jailed without parole. Indicted on the 16th of March for first degree murder, as well as charges for burglary and burglary with sexual motivations. He pled not guilty and is currently, I believe, awaiting a trial. District Attorney Alvin Bragg read a statement that said, today's indictment marks the beginning of our pursuit of justice in the name of Christina Una Lee, a bright and beloved New Yorker who should not have had her life cut short in such a violent, shocking manner in her own home. Now this case has kind of highlighted many different issues, including you know the, the homelessness issue within New York, but more specifically the untreated mental illness within the homeless in New York. Apparently at the time of the attack, he had three pending court cases, which included assaulting someone, a complete stranger, on the subway. So it could be argued that this man was dangerous, but he was not given a psych analysis at any point, which could have led to him getting help, which could have led to Christina still being alive to this day. So a lot of people are linking this untreated mental illness within the homeless community to the shocking rise in public attacks. There has also been a 361% increase in Asian hate crime since the 2020 coronavirus outbreak and protests have taken place claiming that they believe that Christina's murder as she was an Asian lady, was directly motivated by this increase in hate crimes towards Asian people because of the coronavirus outbreak, because of it originating from China. Apparently, statistically, around the country of the US, there are even higher statistics of San Francisco, which has a 567% increase in Asian hate crime. Memorials erected in Christina's honour were vandalised. Nash's trial is set to take place in July. So what do we think, guys, of this absolutely tragic murder of a bright, creative woman, Christina Una Lee, in New York City? I would love to know your thoughts. Please let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you very soon. Sweet one. Geese. Just before I go, this is a little extra because I know a lot of people have been asking, what's the whole Sweet One Geese thing? And I just want to quickly explain. I've been on YouTube for 10 years now and I've done many different things. I started out as, as, a, as a horror gaming channel, then I went to music festivals and then eventually turned to the paranormal and true crime. During the music festival era, uh, my cousin used to say, because uh, I used to go to festivals with him, he, he would always say, oh, sweet one geese. And, and it was a play on like sweet one geezer, basically just like, I don't know, like, yeah, cool, like that, that kind of thing. And basically, because I changed um, direction on this channel, I kind of wanted to still pay homage to the journey that I've been on, if that makes any sense. So I, so Sweet One Geese kind of became the the uh, slogan of the channel during the festival days, and I just wanted to keep that alive. So if you're ever confused why I say Sweet One Geese at the end of these videos, um, that's the reason. It's just basically something that I used to say with my cousin and my friends, and uh, I just wanted to keep that element of the, the journey of my career present. So, uh, yeah, that's that's why I say that. But anyway, sorry for that tangent. I just thought I'd, I'd finally explain. And I'll see you very soon, sweet one, guys.